We are going to be playing some WWE 2K19. I did a poll on Twitter asking if I should stream these or make videos on these. So I'm going to do one video each of each match showcase mode. And it's this. So for those of you that don't know, this is my uncle. It's He's not really my full-blown uncle. He's like, he's like, he's like a step-uncle. My mom's mom married his dad after he was born. I figured this would be kind of a cool thing to do, just to do it. So we are going to get into it. I did already do some of it, and it was actually pretty cool to see. But he goes, he goes through his whole career, and it's just actually really cool. So, here we go. Right after I graduated high school, I moved from Washington down to Texas to train at Shawn Michaels School. It wasn't too long after that that I was signed by WWE. When I first got signed by WWE in 2000, I had no idea really what to expect. Most of the guys on TV had been wrestling for years and years, and at that point I'd only been wrestling for six months. Since I was still really new to all this, I was sent to hone my craft at WWE's developmental territory. Oh, we At the time, was in Memphis. Luckily, William Regal was a trainer there, and he helped me out a lot. So with the WWE contract and Hall of Fame trainers, Brian Danielson was on the fast track to success, right? No, not quite. I was released in 2001, the first time I was released by WWE. It was really hard, actually, because I really didn't know what to do. William Regal told me this is a chance to learn. This is a chance to go travel the world, find who you are as a wrestler, and find who you are as a person. So I went back to the Indies and touring in Japan. But soon after that, in 2003, Brian Danielson made his triumphant return to WWE. Well, sort of. Brian Danielson from Aberdeen, Washington. I returned for some one-off matches on WWE's weekend shows, Sunday Night Heat and Velocity. I like this tour. Look at that. Nice monkey flip. Well, you know this Brian Danielson is a very accomplished young man. We've seen him in the past, and he's very, very good. I didn't really have a goal other than it was good exposure on TV. And one of these matches happened to be against a young up-and-comer named John Cena. Surely this would be my big break, right? No. Oh, fuck, I'm eating popcorn, motherfucker. Welcome, everybody, to WWE Velocity. Uh, I don't know how, what I'm doing. Alongside Corey Graves and Byron Saxton, we kick things off with John Cena against a local competitor named know. Brian Danielson. I gotta say, Cole, I'm surprised Cena's not rapping at all tonight. Well, that's because John Cena is folk. How do I do this? RB and then X RB. Oh, okay. He's facing Brock Lesnar on SmackDown next week, and he's going to make an example of Brian Danielson right here tonight. He's looking at it. How'd he do that? I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. Yeah, this is John, John Cena right here. stock has really risen lately, so it's no surprise that he's now challenging Royal Rumble winner Brock Lesnar. Just seven months ago, he made quite an impact on his debut. When Vince McMahon implored the locker room to show All right. ruthless aggression, John Cena did just that, answering Kurt Angle's open challenge and taking the now WWE champion to his limit. Boom! That sucks. Going back to Cena's ruthless aggression, one could say Brian Danielson's exhibiting that same exact thing here tonight. Would you agree, Cole? Are you kidding me? Cena gave Angle a good fight because he's huge. There's no way this scrawny dork beats John Cena. Right to the back of the neck. If he keeps calling out Brock, um, he's got the shoulders down. He's a long I don't know why he's pinning me here. I can tell you that. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. John Cena is showing his strength there in the early going, getting the upper hand on Danielson. Yeah, Danielson's got some technical skill, but he's starting to be overwhelmed by Cena's brute force. I know it's somewhat Jeez. early still, but this could be a pivotal point. Like, I can't do guys. anything. Let's see how he reacts here. I can't even reverse anything anymore.
Here we go, baby. Here we go, baby. John Cena is the very prototype of a WWE superstar. He's got the physique and athleticism of a future WWE champion. I completely agree, Byron. We've already seen him beat some main event talent like Chris. There we go. In control of Cena right back to the arm. Great strategy. Weaken the poor, powerful Cena by taking away one of his arms. And Brian sticking to his wheelhouse, not taking any unnecessary risks. Get it, Brian. John Cena. Oh, just looking to control and neutralize okay. the bigger man. Cena, though, back to his feet, and Brian continues to work on the arm. But now Cena, test of strength, and you don't want to get into a power battle with John. Absolutely not. Cover here. And a kick out. And again, Cena powering Danielson down. Oh, look at this incredible core strength by Danielson. Cena cannot believe that he can't get Danielson's shoulders on the mat. Going to try it again. Danielson able to come out. That's a little weird. A little weird. Oh, man. Cena just took Danielson's head off. As we say this, sometimes there's no replacement for brute force. Harsh impact. We're seeing that trademark ruthless aggression from John Cena. And it's overwhelming Danielson. Danielson isn't used to the big stage, guys. Cena's got this all wrapped up. Ow. I can't even get up. Extend your elbow. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Look at Brian Danielson. What a nasty impact. This match might be over, guys. Cena's dominating now as Brian Dan he forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. Bam. Body press. He's looking for the win. Early kick out. Referee right on top of the action. No, no, no. You have to wonder how much more it'll take. No, no, no. Oh, he turns it around. And now that one's countered. Wow, that was impressive, Michael. Look at Brian Danielson. Is he done? Nice job breaking out of that one. But there's plenty more work for him to do here. I'm so confused. Will it be? I think so. What? Oh, he kicked out. Unbelievable. He's making a statement here with this attack. Unbelievable. Bad spot for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. Look at Brian Danielson. Just wearing down the opponent. I don't know. Is that enough to stop Cena? Hopefully, John Cena can recover. That'll mess up the back of your neck. Oh boy, he is rolling. Look at the quickness by Cena. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. High cross body. Bringing it back into the ring. When this guy's on, look out. Lightning fast reflexes. Just a step quicker, it looks like. Full impact. High impact crossbody. This is weird. I'm trying to figure out how to perform a strong strike at Cena's head while he's face up. inside the ring hold X near the head of a grounded John Cena that's what I've been doing he's going for it all um look at this
You just keep reversing it. Some of his speed there. Comes up big with the reversal. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. Continuing to punish them. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. He breaks it's, it. I it's can't tough. Believe it. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm with you, Cole. So unbelievable that he broke out of that. Why are you pinning me? Kick out. Why? Why is he pinning me? It's not even like. Oh boy, he is rolling. Awesome. Can he finish him off here? Oh, well, I'm dead. Absolutely punishing. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Look at that. Kicks out in the nick of time. Can you believe what he's withstood here tonight? He has him right where he wants him. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Oh boy, he is rolling. German suplex. Fuck. There we go. Shoulders on the mat. One, two, a kick out, and he almost had him. What a match. God damn, fucking hippie ass motherfucker. God damn it. Oh, the reversal by John Cena. No, the versal bite. Woo! He's cheating. If you're Brian Danielson, what do you do at this point? Another sequence. Cena across the ring. Oh, Cena gets up a boot just in time. And now John Cena looking to take over. Looking up. Put Brian Danielson where he wants him. And here's the cover. And he Rip. gets him. Cena with the win over Brian Danielson. That's unfortunate. Valiant effort by Cena. Danielson, but Cena was just too much tonight. A hard-fought victory tonight. I mean, I tried. I couldn't do much. I tried getting up like 18 Cena times, and he's like trying to bash my head and shit. Anyway, so so this is t it's Tuesday today when I'm uploading this. Another one will be coming out Thursday. I'm gonna do it until it's fully through. So. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I wish it was more eventful. But, yep. Yeah, we're, we're on to the next match. So I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching this video. <laughs> I need an outro. Like, really bad. Maybe that's my outro.